Well, this derives easily from what we have discussed so far. What my hope still is uh, that we will find or a company will find, a university will find a substance, an antibody against alpha synuclein, but exclusively against abnormal alpha synuclein. If that would be the case, if this antibody would uh, find all the way to the brain, to, uh, to single cells, neurons, and others, that may stop the propagation of uh, abnormal alpha synuclein, and by that, stop the cause of the disease, which would be extremely exciting, of course. Now, we do have a genetic abnormality, which is pretty abundant, for instance, in Northern Africa, in Israel. This is the LARC two-point mutation. This is a kinase. And we do now study kinase inhibitors. So maybe from this we will see uh, development. We also know from genetics that there are three genes related to the biogenesis of mitochondria, and they are called PINK1, Parkin, and DJ1. And now we do have medication that is approaching uh, this uh, mitochondrial problems. So all together, I think, especially from genetics, we have learned what is a good target besides the dopamine replacement therapy or maybe anti-inflammatory drugs? So I'm very excited about kinase inhibitors, alpha synuclein accumulation inhibitors, and maybe others that are at the horizon.